Hello, I'd like to give you a quick tour of the ribbon in Microsoft Word 2007. The ribbon is found at the top of the page and it is what you're going to use to get things done. It is first organized by tab at the top. You have the home tab which is where you're going to spend most of your time as the most common functions of the ribbon. You have the insert tab that you'll use to insert things, the page layout tab where you can have better control over how things are laid out on the page, you know, references tab for working on research papers, that kind of thing, M mailings, uh, if you want to create labels, envelopes, mail things, review uh, for when you are looking over your document, in detail and last there's a view tab let's start off with the home tab each tab of the ribbon is further organized into groups so on the home tab here you'll see there is a clipboard group uh, where you would cut copy and paste things you know, format painter and there's a font group so on the font group, you'll find your things like uh, bold, italic, underline. You can change the font, change the font size, you grow and shrink the font. You can uh, do superscript and subscript, uh, change the font color, highlight the font, clear the font's formatting. You get the idea. The paragraph group here you can right center and left align the paragraph you can change the paragraph spacing you can uh, bulleted list numbered list uh, do indents you can sort things from A to Z in a paragraph and you can show and hide the paragraph markings you also apply paragraph border uh, here this is the styles group of the home tab and you will find the different heading styles. You can find different style sets, uh, theme colors, theme fonts, which I could do entire video series about. And last, you have find and replace. So that is the home tab of the ribbon. A couple of nifty things I'd like to draw to your attention. Uh, Number one, we have automatic previews. For example, I selected some text and I would like to see what different fonts would look like. If I pull this drop down menu open, I can just point at the different fonts and it will show me a preview without actually applying that font. If I find one that I like, I can then click on it and apply it. Otherwise, if I'm up here and I didn't see any I liked, I can just click one time off. Nothing changes. Same thing is true of font sizes. We have automatic previews. Same thing is true of these different headings. This is what a heading 1 would look like or a heading 2. And same is true of the different style sets same colors, uh, font groups, and font colors. You get the picture. So that was nifty thing number one. Nifty thing number two is you can still access some of the powerful dialog boxes from previous versions of Word. And they are going to be accessed by that button there. So here's my font dialog box. It's pretty familiar. You've got all the options that are available and not just the most commonly used ones that are on these toolbar buttons. And here on the paragraph dialog box you can uh, set the line breaks, indents and spacing, you know, set tab stops, that kind of thing. Oh, and nifty thing number three, whenever you point at a button on the toolbar it gives you a description of what that function does and also a keyboard shortcut so that's everything you ever wanted to know about the home tab 
Here's the insert tab of the ribbon and it allows you to do just what you would think it would. You can insert things. You can insert blank pages, insert page breaks. You could insert a table and you can insert different illustrations here on the illustration group. Uh, illustrations would be pictures, clip art, shapes, charts. Uh, you could insert links. You could insert a header footer, insert text boxes, word art, or insert symbols. That's the insert tab. Page layout tab lets you to change how the text is laid out on the page. Uh, that'd be page setup. You can change the margins, change uh, whether it's landscape or portrait under the orientation, uh, change the size of the paper, insert columns. No, not insert. Wrong tab. You change the columns. <laughs> you can uh, change the paragraph. Now that's a bit redundant. We also saw this paragraph function on the home tab but it's also here. And let's look at the references tab of the ribbon. As I said before, this is for writing research papers where you can uh, work with table of contents, uh, index, footnotes, citations, bibliography, that kind of thing. Mailings tab, we got envelopes and labels, mail merge, if you want to work with fields, which honestly I've never done, it's there. The review tab of the ribbon, we have spelling and grammar, uh, the source. These are all found under the proofing group. We have a comments group where you can insert comments on uh, what someone else has done with your document. And you can track changes. And then one other thing I wanted to show you about the ribbon is sometimes tabs will pop up here depending on what you're working with. For example, say I just inserted picture. When I click on the picture, I now have a format tab at the top of my ribbon uh, with different options to change my picture, picture styles, put a frame around my picture. Uh, I can adjust the brightness and contrast of my picture, change the border, change the size. So I can also have one of those if I insert a table. Then it'll give me table styles and different table options. So I hope this was helpful for you and thanks for watching.